Welcome, Eagle family. Joseph Swanson here with head women's basketball coach, Kissy Walker. Welcome, coach. Thank you. So, how has preseason been going? Uh, the atmosphere around the team so far? It's actually been fantastic. We have 15 players. We decided to take a little more this year due to injuries and COVID in the past. And uh, we have 15 people and they can all play. Um, they can pick it up really quickly and they came, the team came in the best shape of any team I've ever had. So they worked out really hard over the summer and they're motivated to get going. So I asked Warren a similar question, but he's in a similar different boat where he lost four of his five, five starters last year. You actually returned four of your five starters. Um, how have you seen them grow and what are you looking forward out of them this year heading into the season? They, they've grown with their leadership. They're really good helping the new players with everything, really. And we've actually put in more at this point than we have in the past. And I think that's a tribute to them and how much they've been helpful to the new players. And, and they just know our system now, so they, they pick up really easy. Right. Um, what's, you mentioned you hinted about it a little bit, but what's the overall excitement level around the team right now? They're very excited. They can't wait to play. You know, we fell short in the NAC tournament last year. We had some players stick in that final game. I don't think they're over that. That's been mentioned a few times. And as I said, they all trained over the summer. They worked out. Um, practices have been more intense with 15 players. Uh, there's really not a weak link. And so, you know, it's going to be a little competitive for that playing time. So we've talked a lot off camera about the style of this year's team and a lot of key returners. You know, Bailey Donovan's one of them, but another one that often gets overlooked is Vanessa Duarte. Um, what 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 is the makeup of this year's team, and what what are you excited about with that this year this year's team can do? I think we can have a bunch of different options. We um, are looking to push the ball a lot more this year because we're pretty guard heavy. And our post players can get up and down the floor as much as Bailey Donovan can play in that post, she can get up and down the floor on a fast break. So we're looking to push the ball, we're looking to press, and uh, we run an offense where there's not a lot of standing still. So we're, we're hoping that we can you know, wear teams down as that fourth quarter approaches. and. Uh, so it's a little bit different style. Last year we were pretty much a slow down half court team. So you mentioned last year's style. Do you feel that this is a team that week to week the style of how you play could change, that their ability to adapt to that? It could, and I think that's where we'll hopefully see improvement as the season goes on, that we can adapt. Uh, right now we have a philosophy and we've been working on it all preseason and we want to institute that. We're hoping it's going to work. Uh, but if not, we have other things we can go to. And now turning attention, our attention to the schedule. Um, tough schedule to open the year before you get into conference play. Was that on your mind when you were designing your schedule that you wanted some tough games early on to get ready for a long season and heading into a grinding conference schedule? Absolutely. It's, it's been my philosophy forever, you know, to play those tough games, to prepare you for conference play. And we... You know, we've got a great tradition with schools in state, Bowden, Bates, Colby, USM, St. Joe's, and some of those are NESCAC, and some of them have been to the NCAA tournament. So we're pretty fortunate there that we have that tradition. But outside of that, we'll, we'll head to Daytona Beach for a tournament uh, with Emmanuel, who's been to uh, the NCAA tournament, and uh, WPI. And then um, in a week from now, we'll head to UMass Dartmouth right. and... Uh, Bowden's in that, St. Lawrence. So, you know, it's almost like going to an NCAA tournament early on. Right. And then last question I've got for you is, I said that, I asked a similar question to Warren, but heading into your 32nd season now, um, what, what keeps you motivated? What, what still drives you after all the success, the wins, championships? What still drives you on a day-to-day -day basis? All right, I'm going to guess my answer is the same as Warren's. But it's the players. You know, you get new groups each year. And then when you also look at who's returning, we're excited about it. And coaching is such a challenge that in everything else in my life, I try to chill out <laughs> because, uh, you know, it, this motivates me. Trying to take a team, you know, when you start here and get them here and be picking at the right time, that's, that's a challenge. That's motivating. Kids are great kids. Um, we love them. And that motivates you.
Well, I want to thank you for joining me today. Wish you the best of luck heading into your season. Eagles open up the season on the road, November 8th at New England College. Thank you. Thank you.